the number one priority, and that's the number one priority of the president. So that's what we're trying to get done. The feedback was good, the conversation was honest and open, and the actions uh, that will come out of that will make sure that we're getting that message out. With that, Governor Moore, thank you so much. Uh, it was a great conversation with the president and the vice president because it was honest, it was candid. Uh, I, I think that you know we always believe that when you, when you love someone, you tell them the truth. And I think we came in and we were honest about the feedback that we were getting. We were honest about the concerns that we were hearing from people. Uh, and we were all also honest about the fact that as the president continued to tell us and, and show us that he was all in, that we said that we would stand with him. Because as, as Governor Walt said, the president has always had our backs. We're going to have his back as well. Because the results that we've been able to see under this administration have been undeniable in all of our individual states. But the thing that makes us most optimistic and most hopeful uh, is not necessarily that we're afraid of an alternative, uh, but also is that we're hopeful for the future. And so we know we have work to do. Uh, we know that as we're standing right here, we're behind. But we also know that that path to be able to make sure that we can pull ahead in November is real, and it's gonna take all of us in order to make it happen and to make it work. And we're grateful to hear uh, the level of excitement uh, and the focus that the President and the Vice President have about being victorious in November. And with that, I'll turn it over to you. Thank you. Representing states like New York and all across America who came together tonight to listen to President Biden tell us in his own words what his plans were. I'm here to tell you today, President Joe Biden is in it to win it. And all of us said we pledged our support to him because the stakes could not be higher. On the eve of the 4th of July celebration, we talk about how we transition under a monarchy and a tyranny that our founding fathers fought against, that we risk right now descending back into that very same place. We will stand with the president as we fight that force, that force being Donald Trump. And together, we'll make sure that Americans know not just what Joe Biden did for all of us, but the list of what he did for my state of New York is extraordinarily long, but where he's going for the future and where he's going to take this country. We feel very confident in his abilities. We talked about the plan and how he's going to be very focused on the issues Is he fit for office? Do you think he's fit for office? Yes, fit for office. Three and, a half, three, and a half, three and a half years of delivering for us, going through what we've all been through. Uh, none of us are denied. Thursday night was a bad performance. It was a bad uh, It was a bad hit, if you will, on that. But it doesn't impact what I believe what, is delivering. What, what, would you, what, would you say, what would you say to people in your own party? What would you say to people in your own party who say the game is up, enough's enough? No, I, I, would, I would say this. In November, we've got a clear choice. The president was very clear that he is in this to win this. And the president is going to, the president is our nominee. The president is our party leader. And the president has told us, and he was very clear back there, that he is in this to win this. And so for people, I would say, and listen, we're governors. We don't do handwriting. That's not what we do. Governors work and get things done. Governors say, tell me the objective, and we're going to make sure that we accomplish the objective. And so for people who, 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 are, who are concerned, I just want to be very clear on something. And come November, we've got a binary choice. And the binary choice is between someone who is continually delivered for us and our states and the people of our states, and frankly, someone whose vision for the future of this country is downright dangerous. And so I would tell people, it is time to mount up. And it's time to get serious. What did you ask President Biden to do from now on? What did you ask President Biden to do? What did you ask President Biden to do? What did you ask President Biden to do to regain the confidence of voters? How did the President explain his debate performance to you on Thursday night? Does he understand the stakes? Did he speak about? Yeah, yeah, he did. He said, "Look, he did. He listened. He didn't listen to himself, and I thought he gave a great example when he said, look, 'Look, I'm worrying about numbers on this. It's about people. It's about their lives. This is Joe Biden's grand. He talks about building the middle class. He did it. He delivered." And I think this idea that you get in your own head, you get a little bit cycled up on that. What we saw in there today was a guy who was the guy that all of us believed in the first time who could beat Donald Trump and did beat Donald Trump. Did, did he say you had consider withdrawing from the race?